Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. A demonym is a specific type of noun that identifies a group of people based on the part of the world they're from. I'm pretty sure everyone can have a demonym applied to them and they are words we use on an incredibly regular basis. Think of words like Mexican or Icelander. They're important words, don't get me wrong, but they can be pretty darn boring at times. So boring in fact that sometimes we forego using these words, instead use a nickname that nationality has acquired. A lot of the time these national nicknames are just diminutive forms of their proper names. Think Brit instead of British or Aussie instead of Australian. Sometimes however they can be a bit more unique. Think of the likes of Kiwi for someone from New Zealand, Canuck for someone from Canada, or Tico slash Tika for someone from Costa Rica. Sometimes these nicknames even surpass the official demonym in usage. Like have you ever heard someone from New Zealand actually be called a New Zealander instead of a Kiwi? It's one particular national nickname we are looking into today, that being the nickname for people from the third most populated country on our planet, the United States of America, and their nickname of Yankee. And I can already hear people getting angry at me for that previous comment, as I implied that Yankee is a nickname that can be applied to all citizens of the United States of America, and that doesn't seem to be the case. From what I've read online, it seems that people from outside the state use Yankee to refer to any American from any part of the state. However, within the nation, things get a bit more pedantic. Many Americans see Yankee as a name for just those in the north of the United States, the north in this case being the wider northeast area, not the Pacific Northwest or the more western border states, while some specify it's more just the New England region of the nation. Some go as far as saying Yankee is a name that should only be applied to people from the state of Vermont. Nevertheless, it seems there's quite some debate about who can be called a Yankee. A poem by E.B. White, the writer of Stuart Little and Charlotte's Webb among other things, put it best. To foreigners, a Yankee is an American. To an American, a Yankee is a Northerner. To a Northerner, a Yankee is an Easterner. To an Easterner, a Yankee is a New Englander. To a New Englander, a Yankee is a Vermonter. And in Vermont, a Yankee is someone who eats pie for breakfast. Pie for breakfast is apparently a traditional meal in the state, according to the aptly named Yankee Chef. Yankee, or Yank as it's often shortened to, which by the way I'll probably be using a mix of in this video as and when, is more than just a geographic nickname however, there is a stereotype linked to the name too. I saw this stereotype encapsulated in the term Yankee ingenuity. This term means to be invented and have technical know-how. It also means to have a mentality of making do with the tools and resources you have on hand. It seems to derive from those early settlers and colonists in the New England region, who did just have to make do with what they could find in the land when they first arrived. The 30th US President Calvin Coolidge is seen as being a very stereotypical Yankee due to his blunt manner of speaking and dry sense of humour. This was very much seen as a positive thing however. In the run up to his election, a fellow member of his party said that his Yankee twang will be worth 100,000 votes. While Calvin Coolidge might be an example of the name Yankee being used in a positive manner, this doesn't always seem to be the case. When looking into the name Yankee, a popular question comes up as to whether it's an offensive derogatory name or not. This doesn't really seem to be a question of a simple yes or no answer. From what I read online, the name varies in offence depending on where you're using it and who you are saying it to. In other nations, Yankee is seen as something as an affectionate slash endearing term for those in the states, while apparently in the New England area the term is hardly used. I read it can even be quite patriotic to be called a Yankee unless you're being called it in Boston, where it's really quite an offensive term, but that's a whole baseball thing. Calling someone from the southern United States a Yank, however, is a very different story, it would seem. Calling a southerner a Yank is a no-go because the name gained popularity as a word they would use as a derogative for northerners during the Civil War, so obviously wouldn't like to be called it themselves. This kind of creates this weird thing where it can be offensive depending on who is using it. In example, someone from the south are calling someone from the north North Yank is often derogative, while someone from say Britain calling someone from the North Yank isn't often derogative. Though I must stress this is only from research I've done online. If you have first hand experience
experience with being called a yank or calling someone a yank then let me know down below and huge apologies if this name does offend you and i've been saying it left right and center it seems that yankee started life as a derogatory term but has softened over the years though its appropriateness has ebbed and flowed to it would seem unsurprisingly however before americans from the south were calling other americans yankee it was the british who was first seemingly using the name the earliest written recording of the name yankee we have comes from 1758 while the usa was still a british colony it comes from a letter written by james wolfe a british general in the letter he wrote i can afford you two companies of yankees and the more because they are better for ranging and scouting than either work or vigilance it's thought this letter was in regards to sending more troops to the french and indian wars in which britain were wrapped up in over the time it's hard to deter from this letter if the name yankee is being used in a derogative sense here though or if it's just being used as a go-to name however in 1775 it was most certainly being used in an offensive manner in a british loyalist newspaper cartoon ridiculing the yankee doodle soldiers more on that term in a moment what's interesting however is that the name was being used by people from new england pretty soon after this 1769 it gave us the first pen and might yankee war it seems that the yankees in this war were quite openly calling themselves this name here and as mentioned yankee doodle went from being a song created by the british to insult the americans to a marching song the americans sung with pride though as the years would go on and the states became an independent nation the word fluctuated in use it seems to become its most derogative during the american civil war from 1861 to 1865 in this time yankee and yank became the go-to term for those in the northern states it was used in a derogatory sense by southern americans from the 11 states that left the union and formed the confederate states of america in this time it was often preceded with the word damn damn yankee became something of a go-to term for the confederates to say in anger at their northern enemies however when this war came to an end yankee seemingly became a neutral term for those from new england once again and from here the name has become the nickname it is known as today while that may be a brief look into the word's history where did it come from in the first place minus york as in new york which is in the north yankee doesn't sound particularly like any place names in this region of the usa so where did the name come from well we aren't too sure there are a few ideas as to where the name comes from some of these etymologies are more debunked than others still folk etymologies are fun to look at if you were to ask me where i thought the name came from i would suggest it's a diminution of the surname yankovic a popular jewish american surname and with a huge majority of the jewish american population living in the northeast it would make sense however there isn't a link between yankovic and the yankee like i said that would just be my theory on the etymology some other debunked etymologies that come from native american roots one idea is that came from a cherokee word that being yankee with this word supposedly meaning coward i say supposedly meaning coward as this word doesn't actually exist in the cherokee language so why would this folk etymology come about well according to dave wilton in his fantastic book word myths a key reason as to why folk etymologies are perpetuated is to reinforce negative ideas about others and you could easily see this etymology gaining traction in the south during the height of the civil war believing their nickname for their enemy meant coward would have helped cement their negative idea of the northerners david wilton however also says a key reason folk etymologies gain traction is to strengthen and validate group identity and this links with another yankee native american folk etymology this etymology being the word derived from the name of a native tribe called the yanku slash yankos with this tribe's name meaning invincible the story goes that new england settlers defeated this tribe and took their name however beyond this story we have no evidence of this tribe ever existing though as mentioned this folk etymology helps strengthen the group identity of the yankees that's for sure you'd feel pretty great if you knew your nickname meant invincible a final not as debunked native american etymology idea is that was an english corruption of a native corruption of a french term that french term being l'anglais meaning the englishman slash english language a wine dot native would have heard this term and pronounced it as yangi which the english would have heard and pronounced it as yankee but if it doesn't come from native roots then where does it come from well it's more popularly believed to be a name created by another group of settlers in the northeast of the states that being none other than the dutch Dutch colonization of North East America, known as New Netherlands, seems to have only really been around during the 17th century. 
However, their impact has been massive. Perhaps most noticeably, they set the groundwork for their city of New Amsterdam, which would eventually be renamed New York by the British. Though the name Yankee could quite possibly be their biggest contribution to the Americas and to American English, we have a few ideas as to how the Dutch may have given us the name Yankee. Most relate to popular Dutch given names. This is a pretty common nickname origin too, to link an entire group of people with just one given name, like with Tommy's as a name for British soldiers during the First World War. Yankee is thought to possibly come from the Dutch name of Jan, their version of John. The feminine form of Jan is Janneke, which sounds somewhat like Yankee too. So it's thought that with all these new Jans and Jannekes coming into the land, the name was applied to all the Dutch settlers, then everyone in the northeast, and then corrupted into Yankee and shortened to Yank. The other idea again relates to the Dutch Jan, but not its feminine form. It instead relates to the other popular Dutch given name of Keys. All these Jan and Keys coming to the land could have been combined into Jan Keys, which was then corrupted into Yankees. We even have records of Dutch people with the double barreled first name of Jan Keys. These Dutch ideas really make a lot of sense. What we aren't too sure about however is if these names were used in a derogatory way towards the Dutch settlers or not. I'm just happy that the letter J makes a Y sound in Dutch. Otherwise these Americans would have ended up with the nickname of Jankies, which just sounds a little bit more janky. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at NameExplainYT. On Instagram, I'm also NameExplainYT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.